Our next entertainer is actually the youngest of tonight's performers, and that's kind of nice to finally have a young comedian on the Young Comedian Show, seeing as last year's lineup included Jan Murray, Corbett Monica, and Mort Saul. Please welcome David Spade, ladies and gentlemen. David Spade. Hi, my name is David Spade, and I'm 12. And I'm going to try to stay up all night tonight. <laughs> um, let me tell you about myself. Uh, I'm from Arizona, and I... Uh, thank you, I'll kick my own ass later. Um, <laughs> I'm from Arizona. I wanted to go out and see uh, Hollywood Boulevard. No one tells you that it's like the skankiest street in the world. Every loser is hanging out there, walking around. And I don't think there's a dress code on this street, and if there is, they're pretty lenient. What is that, jockstrap and a sailor hat? You're okay. You know, what's going on? And I went to see uh, the, the world-famous Chinese theater. I saw Casualties of War. There's a charming movie. Army movie about a bunch of guys raping some girl. Michael J. Fox is in it, and he doesn't like what's going on. Sarge, uh, what are we doing here, exactly? <laughs> you gotta give me a minute on this, Sarge. Mallory? And then I rented some movies. I rented, uh, I rented, what, nine and a half weeks. A little steamy, huh? Cheese and rice. Rent this thing alone. I was with my grandma going, mmm. <laughs> Man, uh, that terry cloth robe does something for it. <laughs> this is a good place to see a show. I just saw a stadium concert. This is a bad scene. 130,000 of my closest friends and I at this gig, you know. It's outdoors where so they have football games. It's the worst, you know? And I saw you too. And they're good, but they're like the only band I know. I don't know any hard rock bands. They're all the same to me. I can't tell you the difference between Motley Crue, Snake Poison, Rat Head, Sacred <laughs> Twisted <laughs> no. I don't have cable. I don't have MTV. So I go to this thing, and I'm sitting so far away, you know? And I took my friend Charlie, and, and that's not even his real name, you know? I just call him Charlie because he's North Korean. <laughs> we, go, we go to this gig. And I'm sitting like, okay, here's you two, okay? See that little speck of nothing? Here's my suck job seats. <laughs> yeah, there you go, right there. And the show starts, I don't even know it, you know? I got a better view of the planets lining up again, yeah? I am out there. And the first song, the lead singer starts yelling, no war, big political thing, no war. And everyone's getting into it except for Geekazoid because I'm up in the boonies going, what, this, this, whoo. No more. No more. No more. Like a big loser, and there you go. No more. And I'm going, no more. No more. Totally committing. This goes on forever. <laughs> Finally, the lead singer whips around and goes, hey, pinky, no war. All right? What? Look at me. And I'm like, oh, oh, oh. I'm like freaking out. Oh my God, is he checking me out? Is the edge looking up here? And everyone's craning their neck, and I go, Hey, how the hell do I know what you're saying? Look where I'm sitting, dude. I don't even know which one of you guys is singing. I'm supposed to read your lips? <laughs> Christ, I don't have my telescope. I didn't know it was B-Y-O-T. Didn't say it on the ticket. <laughs> I'm waiting for someone to kick a field goal. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> three. So. That's like the kind of mess my life is in. Today I watch Jeopardy, which is like the toughest game show, and I try to keep up with it, which is a mistake because I get a big old brain cramp and start to freak out, you know? <laughs> ah, woo, ah, ah, pick cartoons, dude. Pick cartoons for 100, man. Help me out. <laughs> Everyone on that show is smarter than me. Gern Cranium, our champ. Gern, your category. All right, Alex, I'll take things no one on the planet could possibly know except for people on Jeopardy for 100. The answer is X1 JFQ Niner UPS 714 911S 21 
before. <laughs> Gern. Yeah. yeah, Alex, what is the inventory number of a bumper bracket on a 72 Volvo? And then I watched a Newprint commercial. I don't even know what Newprint is. Apparently, it's some half-ass aspirin-like substitute. The commercial is brutal. They show this guy playing baseball. Have you seen it? And he goes, swings full on, and hits the catcher in the face with a bat. He, just, and he shatters his head, and I go, oh, I couldn't even watch it, you know? It was just sick. And then they show the same idiot that got popped six months later, and he's checking it out, and he goes, well, that was quite a jolt I took back then. And I tell you, it surprised me when my doctor gave me two new print for the pain. What are you, nuts? Are you kidding me? Yeah, the day I get cracked across the face, full swing with the Louisville Slugger, and my doctor tries to push two puny little new print on me. But you take these little new print and they're yellow, and you can swallow them easy, and you can... And then, and I'll say, let me f***ing tell you something, all right? You better hook my ass up to that morphine IV pronto trapper, John. All right. Okay, Pally Wally, because I don't want something I can get at 7-Eleven, okay? I want something I can't buy. Something illegal, all right? That's why I'm in the hospital, you loser. I got a split cranium. He gives me Flintstone chewables. Hey, go, 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 hey, 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 Thanks a lot. Go ahead.